Hey guys, welcome back to another rebuild. We're going to be taking on the Miami Dolphins. Going to change it up a little bit. It's going to be a 10-year rebuild. Pretty hyped about it as well. It's going to be my first ever 10-year rebuild. So the difference here is going to be no matter what happens, even if we win the Super Bowl, I'm going to cap it at three times. If we win the Super Bowl three times for 10 years, that'll wrap it up. But that's, I mean, what are we talking here? That's highly unlikely in the sim. So we are going to go 10 years, and I'm not going to play any games unless we get to the 10th year and, you know, it's it, we're in the playoffs. And I can hop in, but I can't hop in before the 10th year, so let's get into it, dude. It should be fun. It should be fun. First ever 10-year one. I thought it would be fun to start with the Dolphins because we know they need a massive rebuild. One of the worst teams in the league. Not likely the worst, but they're up there. They up there for sure. Now, first, the thing I'm going to do... Tua is starting. He's getting snaps. We need him to start upgrading. Pretty good for us. Stats aren't horrible at all. Okay. So yeah, Tua definitely should be our guy. I do like the backfield with Brita and Jordan Howard. Devontae. Ooh, we got PJ Williams. He's somebody we gotta watch. I mean, Preston Williams. He's somebody we gotta watch out for. He's only 23. I think he's got a lot of... Uh, a lot of, he, he can be somebody. We'll leave it at that, all right? He can be somebody for sure. A lot of potential in this guy. So he's going to be starting for sure. I like Parker. O-line's in shambles. There's no doubt about it. We have Eric Flowers on the team, all right? Tells you how we're doing there. I'm a fan of Gasicki though. He's a nasty tight end. I like him. Defense. We have Christian Wilkins, but again, he's only normal development. We do have a superstar in Byron, though. They paid for him, though. They paid. So hopefully he can live up to that contract. Same with Xavier Howard. Got Eric Rowe at safety. Man, just looking rough up in here, isn't it? I mean, we have Kyle Vinoy, but again, he's older. In terms of a 10-year rebuild, we're looking at a lot of vets, dude. I think we do have some young middle linebackers, though. Jerome Baker, he's young. Okay, yeah, so we'll, we'll see what happens there. Let's get to midseason, see if we got anybody to bring back, but damn. Roster's looking rough to start it in year one. Bro, what the hell's going on here? We're 6-2? I'll take it. That's weird. I mean, there, I've started with way better teams rebuilding-wise, and I've never went 6-2. and two. Dude, that's why I feel like the Sims a bit just janked up. Just, just, I don't know. Ooh, Matt Breida. He's only 25 here. Do you like Jordan Howard, though? My God, that speed is incredible, though, is it not? I'd love to have him as a duo backfield. What's Cap looking like? Not bad. D to be honest, that's a pretty good deal to get him on. I wouldn't be mad to bring him back for four on that deal. Yeah, let's get it done. All right, Matt Breed is coming back. I like Albert Wilson in the slot, but he's 28. See, this is going to get crazy, because since we're going 10 years, I don't... We're going to have to be kind of strategic. I do like God Chicks, though, for sure. So he's coming back. If it's Magic, likely going to have to let him go. Elaine and Roberts, I think we can get better there and younger. So yeah, that's likely going to do it. We'll likely just bring back uh, God Chicks and Brita. I knew it was too good to be true. No playoffs up in here. We go 7-9. and nine. Better than I anticipated, to be honest. What are the upgrade points looking like for the squad? Quickly check that out. Oh my, Tua, let's go. Got six up in here. Gasecki with three. What is uh, Williams? Ooh, five? Let's go. Looked like the duo backfield went off a bit. Eh, defense, not much. Defense, not much. We need the defense to upgrade. Definitely do. Oh, yikes. What happened offensively? I have, you know what? Tua played well. That's what happened. 3,200 yards. Not the most pass yards. But I'm in a damn 24 to 5 interception ratio as a rookie. That ain't bad. 61% completion rate. Oh, we ran the ball a lot. That's why. We only averaged 3 point... We, we averaged 3 yards a carry for both backs. That's telling me it's O-line. 7 touchdowns by Howard. I'm liking the way the offense looks. To me, it's looking like the offensive line's really bad. Well, it is. There's there's no thinking. It is. How the hell did Jakeem Grant lead the team in yards? 7,907. 
68, 707 for Gasicki, not bad. Parker put up some decent numbers. I'd hoped for a little bit more from Preston, if I'm being honest. Blocking. Oh my god, dude. Get out of my face. Austin Jackson, you allowed 23 sacks. You're not going to be on my team next year. That's just what it is. 107 by Baker. 103 by Howard tackle-wise. They lead the team by a lot. Nine and a half sacks by Vinoy. Okay. Got five by Godchicks. Where's uh, Wilkins? Anywhere to be seen? No, he's not. He had 13 tackles for loss. Like That's decent, but no sacks. Interceptions, four by Howard. That's nice. I want to see Howard and Byron go off. They need to. So that's seven picks uh, all together there. I'll take it. Three by Noah. Camus with two. A couple of ones here. All right. All right. I'll take that. Nice little start, I guess. I mean, we didn't do much with it, but nice little building start for us. Not the MVP conversation. What about offensive rookie? Herbert wins it. Damn. Okay. We got a little bit of a chip on our shoulder. Joe's ahead of us and Herbert. Hey, we'll prove him wrong. We'll prove him wrong. Let's get into free agency. Well, to be honest, there's a lot of vets available. I mean, Kamara's available. Not going to go after him. I don't know how he's available when he signed a five-year contract, but you know how it is. Um, either way, there's a, a decent amount of vets available. I'm going to go after one player, though. Pretty young one in Marcus Williams. I think getting a safety of his caliber this early would help us out in the long term. We're offering a lot more. Come on, bruh. Is this guy going to come to Miami or no? Because I don't ever get free agents. Come on, please, please, please. Yes. All right, we get Marcus. That'll help us out a little bit in the secondary. Let's get into the draft. Well, man, we could go a couple places here. We could go cornerback, which I don't think would make sense considering, you know, they they went after Byron. They already signed Xavier Howard. I, even though as much as I'd like to, I can't do it. I think we're going to have to go DT. There's a insane DT available. Jalen here. Look at his freaking skills, dude. He's got B-plus power, A finesse. Looks to be a monster mid-first. I know we need O-line, but we got another first to work with here. Come on. Ah, reached a bit. Only by three, but 75 overall. I don't know if that's a damn reach at all. I really don't think it is. Starting with 86 finesse as a DT. Ah, damn. The tackle I wanted is off the board. That sucks. That sucks. I don't know what we do here. This guy's early second round. Not liking his stats. I mean his uh, combine. This guy's late first. Gosh dang it, dude. What do I do? This guy has really good pass blocking, though. Even though he doesn't have great bench, it looks good to me. Come on. Be good. Be good. E 73 overall. Well, to be fair, he is a left tackle. Awareness is going to... Eh, he's going to get to a destroyed. But you know what? That pass block isn't bad. Well, you know what? We probably need run back. I mean, run block considering two is left-handed. Things I didn't consider. Things I didn't consider. Bro, Justin Fields is available. Are you guys kidding? Ooh, we, need a, we do need a strong safety to go along with Marcus. I feel like we should address that early on. Caden Stearns doesn't look bad. He's just like he looks like a decent safety. He's got a nice hit power. Ooh, 72 overall head and development. Let's go. I can work with that. I can work with that. He's got his own coverage. He's got hit power. He's got okay tackling. I'll take that. Dude, Justin Fields is slipping so much. Is this real? I might snag this guy and use him as trade bait. Are you kidding me? I ain't gonna do that, but. Damn. How are you letting that guy stay on the board, league? We do need another tackle, so I'd like to go after one. This was the other tackle I would have taken. So let's see. Oh, wow. About the same. Yeah, this guy's going to play left tackle. The other guy, we're going to bounce him over to the right side. This guy's going to definitely play left tackle. Oh, my God, dude. This guy's got A catch in traffic. I don't know if I can pass on that. I think we do still need a third receiver. Dude, that's dirty. I don't care what his combine was. He has an A catch in traffic. His top skill? I'm taking a shot on him. Eh. 
I, I, dude, he might be a slot guy. He's got an 87 catch and traff. He might, I'm going to have to start him at slot and see what he can do. Ooh, Patty's still available. I think that'd be nice after we did lose a middle linebacker, not a Baker, but we did lose our other one. Damn, my gosh. I don't get this. Man, those aren't the worst stats, to be fair. I feel like it's his play rack and his awareness hurting him. To be fair, he's probably going to start a linebacker. I want to build up some of these young guys. That'll probably be the last pick we show here unless I do find a gym later in the draft. But, yeah, if not, we'll get right into year two. All right, considering we didn't sign but one free agent, I'm feeling pretty good about how the squad looks after one year. Um, I'm still going to have Jakeem play the third receiver considering how well he did play. But I'm giving Press in that slot so he can maybe get some more upgrade points. Liking the way the O-line looks. I did end up bouncing Austin Jackson to guard. Because I think he can be a better guard than he was a tackle, to be fair. Yeah, he doesn't have the best of stats, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. So we do have double tackles, who I'm hoping can be here the, a long time. I don't know if they'll be the remainder of the rebuild, considering we're doing a 10-year one. But we'll see. Center's real tough, though, at the moment. We do need to get a center. Defense, I, I'm liking the way they look. After we picked up Marcus, we do have the Stern starting at the other safety spot, the rookie. Got Patty starting with Baker at linebacker. Vinoy with Shaq. Mm, yeah, I think the 3-4 is coming together. We still do need to build it up a bit more in the linebacking department. But we still got Byron up to a 90. Xavier Howard. Do you like this guy in the slot here? And then D-line, I'm really liking it with Christian Wilkins, God Chicks, and then we have this guy that we drafted who looks to be insane. He's actually going to be a rushing left end. I was actually I was thinking about bouncing up to outside linebacker, and I thought, that might, you know what, that might be too hairy. But he's definitely going to be a D-end. I mean, he's he's so fast, and he has the strength that he, I, I feel like he's going to put up massive freaking numbers this year, dude. Massive. I'm hoping. I'm hoping, I guess. We'll see. Year two, let's get to midseason again. Okay, see, okay, so here we go. We got some signings coming up here. Gasicki's definitely coming back. Jordan Howard, on that deal, I'm not mad at bringing him back either. To be fair, though, if we're going 10 years, we might need to start getting younger. 26, it's getting rough for running back, right? I kind of want Matt Breida to take over. I, I think we're going to let Howard go. We can always go for a back in the draft. Jerome Baker definitely is coming back. That's a steal to get him at 24. I'm going to make that a multi-year contract. Preston, I want... Ooh. Uh, he wants paid a little bit, but he's definitely coming back as well. That's going to do it. Hey, how's Andy on the freaking team? All right, so we're going to get rid of... I mean, we're going to bring back Preston, Jerome... Gusecki and uh, I mean if Jordan Howard has like an insane year we can always slap that franchise on him But we'll see what happens. All right. No playoffs. Damn Somehow we're getting worse. Gosh, dang it, dude. Is it gonna be this thing again? I don't get how we got worse if all we did was upgrade, but that's just me. I guess Okay, uh, mm you know what we'll see what happens I think it's the playbook. Definitely is the playbook. We're not getting any offensive yards. We're going to have to switch that up. So definitely switching the playbook for next year. Not sure to what. Might go Tampa's playbook, to be honest. They have some nice passing formations. I want to get the ball in the air. So I think we might go Tampa. Definitely, probably. I have to air it out a little bit more. Gosh dang. Gosh dang, dude. Get out of my face if you're only allowing three. I mean, getting three point yards a carry. Gosh. Woo. Preston's a thousand yard receiver, though. 72, 1,009. 77, 907 for Gasick. Parker didn't do bad. Jakeem Grant didn't do bad either. What happened here? Better than last year. That's for sure. Defense. Oh my gosh. Vinoy? Bro had 117 solo tackles. 140 total. Bruh. He had 8 sacks by Wilkins. Ooh, Jalen getting out there. My god. 17 tackles for loss. 
Four by Agba. Okay. Three picks by Byron. Two by Marcus. Ooh, love to see safeties getting back-to-back -back doubles. Let's go. Couple of one bombs. I think it's the playbooks, to be honest. I feel like we're going to change up playbooks a little bit. I want to be more of an air raid team. So I definitely see us going to maybe a Tampa-ish playbook. Something like that. Okay, see, this is very tough. I'm, I'm not the best at handling cap, especially because I've never done a 10-year rebuild. So this is, uh, is going to be an adventure for sure. I don't know how we need to handle cap in this situation. Because, I mean, Yair's available. I feel like anybody in their right mind is going to go after him. Especially when nobody's offering him a damn contract. That's so juicy, dude. I'm doing it. I don't care. We might pay for it, but I think it's going to work out for us. I have to go after him. Dude, we'd have a lockdown secondary. We'd got Marcus back there. Stearns. Cornerbacks would be... I don't even know the word. We'd have Byron with freaking Yair and then Howard to play the slots. I'm doing it. Please accept it. Please accept it. Yes. All right. We get Yair. Green Bay somehow ended up letting him go. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take their loss. Definitely not my best draft um, at all. At all. Uh, I went wide receiver with the first pick because there just was not no lineman that I wanted that high up. The O-linemen were like second round talents. So, I did take a shot. Well, not a bad pick in George Pickens here. He's definitely going to be a starter on the team. And to be honest, I'm not mad at getting two or more weapons. This guy looks to be decent. I, I, I really wanted to get him because our slot guy I, that we did draft that has really good catch in traffic. He just didn't have the agility. This guy does. This guy has the agility. I think this guy can be a great slot guy for us. So he's definitely going to be the starter there. This center was the best center available, and he's only a 69 overall. But his stats aren't the worst. I mean, they're not the best, but I think he can upgrade. Considering center is one of the only positions we need on the O-line right now. I mean, we can get better in a lot of places, but I'm, I'm trying to upgrade them. So we'll see if he can upgrade. Besides that, didn't get much. Really just got a running back that's not really going to be a starter. He's definitely going to be sitting behind Brita. It's going to be Breed's team this year, but this guy, you know, he can do the things if he's called upon. So we'll see. And that's really it. Not the best of drafts, that's for sure. All right, at least we can say one thing. The O-line's upgrading. I mean, we have all normal development guys, but they're upgrading. We've got a center in there. Hopefully, he can start upgrading a bit more. Well, just upgrade. Got Kaseki. I still do like our receiving core. I really do. I mean, we got Kaseki. We got Williams. We got Parker. Now we got Pickens to play the slot. And now the team's going to go through Breida. I'm hoping he can do the things. Yeah, he's got insane speed, man. I, I'm hoping that really helps out. We did change to Tampa's playbook. Stuck with the same uh, the same defense. Because I, I, I mean, I don't think we should change that right now. That's really how I've been trying to build the defense. But if the defense is rough again, we might switch it up. But yeah, we tried Tampa's playbook. Does have a lot of shotgun formations. That's why I tend to go with it. But we'll see if uh, we get good stats with it. If not, we can always switch it up again. I just, I mean, I, uh, it's tough when you always have to switch playbooks because you never really know which one's the best. All right, that's the offense, though. Defense, we ended up getting uh, Jalen here up to superstar, and he's a monster, dude. Like, go ahead and look at his stats. First, he has the strip specialist. But my god, dude, this is in his second year, and that's his that's his stats. Those are those are wild. They're insane. Then we got Godchick still Wilkins. I'm super hyped to see what Yair and Byron can do together. Freaking Xavian's gonna be playing the slot. We got Stearns, we got Marcus up here. Secondary's savage. That's what they are. There's just savage. Then we got Vanoy up in here with Shaq. We still got linebackers. I still do like Patty with Jerome. Um, and Vanoy, you know, he's still got to be that leading linebacker for us. So, see what happens. I feel like we should be a playoff contender this year. That's what we're setting the season goal to. I think we can make playoffs. I think it's the year. I think it is the year. We'll see, though. All right, now we're back here at midseason. Now, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Not Nick Foles. Uh, the Christian Wilkins. He's already 26. I know they drafted him not too long ago, but when you look at his stats, I mean... 
Mm. They are decent, but he's 26, you know? And I feel like we're going to have to start saving money. Two is going to be coming up. Some monsters are going to be coming up. That guy we drafted is already superstar is going to be coming up. And he wants a massive deal for two years. And he's going to start regressing. He's not superstar. I say we keep him on a two-year deal, I guess. See if he accepts this. All right. He accepts the two-year. So we'll keep him on that two-year. We're going to end up letting Shaq go. I want to get younger there. Eric Flowers, you're gone. That's probably it. We're going to let everybody else test here for sure. That's the only guy we'll bring back. All right. Probably not a good sign. Three straight damn years. Three straight no playoffs. All righty. We are stuck in the damn shit. We're 5-11 and 11 again. That happens to me every rebuild. The rebuilds are broken. The sim is broken. All right? That's just what it is. I get the same records. There's no coincidence, dude. The same records yearly. I don't get it. Give me something that tells me why. This guy's superstar looked like he decent. My God, what happened? What happened? Let's take a look at the stats. So it seems Tampa's playbook's not the answer? It's not the answer. It's not the damn answer. It's not the answer. Tua played worse. Okay. That's not good. So I guess we gotta switch playbooks. My gosh, running the ball is just not our thing, I guess. Receiving, we get 63, 806 from Devontae, Preston, 76, 808. Gasicki, 70, 703. George Pickens, 46, and eh, not bad, 14 yards of grab for him. Blocking, ah, left tackle, you can't allow more sacks than you did the year before. At 300 tacklers, that's really good. With Jerome, Byron, and Vinoy. Sacks, we get 8.5 by Jalen. Yes, he leads the team. That's what I want to see. 7 by Shaq. 5 by Wilkins. 3 picks by Byron. 3 by Howard. 3 by Baker. 2 by Alexander. A couple of 1 bombs. Okay, defense seems to have been there a little. What about yards? 25th. Actually, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll have to try to make some more changes to the playbooks, I guess. All right, so I'm trying to take this on pretty strategically here. Not spending much money. Nice to see my boy, McCall Hardman, up there, though, with the 92 overall. Superstar. Let's go. What's his stats looking like? We don't need a receiver, but damn. Oh, my. He is insane. Let's, I, I'm just going to say one word. Insane. We're going to go after Dre Greenlaw. Ends up being Superstar. Not many people are very interested, so we're going to try to get him on a bit of a snag. Couple mil less than he wants. He'd be a very good linebacker to add to the squad. Very good. That's going to be the only guy we offer a contract to. Come on, please. Just come on. Yes, we get him. That's a really big pickup for us. That's going to make our defense incredibly better. Dude, I'm going to tell you guys right now. The freaking pre-made drafts are garbage. They just are. They just are. They're never good, no matter what. I mean, they are just not good. But we ended up getting a couple players. I mean, like two that'll start. So we needed another outside linebacker for pass rushers since Shaq was let go of. This guy's not bad. He's going to really fill in for Shaq quite nicely. He's got nice speed. He's going to be a nice power rusher off the edge for us. We switched to Baltimore's 3-4, so maybe that'll help us out a little bit more. Um, I'm going to use my own offensive custom playbook. That's the only way my offense seems to do good. So I guess, I don't know. I might just have decent plays in there, but that's the only way they do good is if I use my custom playbook. So I'm just going to have to throw my own custom playbook in there. I, I mean, it's super weird. How the normal playbook's just, you can't win. Now, we ended up getting a decent center later in the draft, in the second round, that I'm pretty happy with. He's definitely going to start over the center we had. And the center we drafted is probably going to bounce over to guard, considering we did have to let Eric Flowers go. But those are likely the only two starters on the team. But it's always nice to get some more depth, considering this is a 10-year rebuild, so... 
you know, we never know what's going to happen, really. All right, really liking the way the team's starting to look. We almost got double 80 tackles now. Players are upgrading that we drafted, which is nice to see. That's what I'm going to like about these 10-year rebuilds. I feel like we get young players, but don't really get to see them develop. I feel like we're definitely going to get to see them develop now. I'm going to turn the offense over to Meadows. I, I, he, I mean, Breed has had his chances. He's getting a little up there in age. Meadows can do the same things he can with speed-wise, at least. But he's just an all-around better back. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's got power. He's younger. He's a rookie, I believe. He's got hidden development. So I feel like he can really do some things as a rookie here. And I really want to start getting him some carries because we need a running back badly. Um, receivers are looking quite juice. To be fair, I feel like we're going to bounce Williams up to number one and Pickens up to number two. Because I feel like they're at that point in their stage in their career where they're ready to break out here. Devontae Parker is likely a bit up there in age. Yeah, he's 30. So probably going to start declining rapidly for him. Defensively, we're looking natty, dude. We got Kyle Vinoy up to an X-Factor. Just, just freaking picked up Greenlaw. So now our linebacking core is really good. Got Barkley here rushing off the edge. The rookie safeties are there. DBs are there with Yair up to a 99. Got Byron freaking Xavier Howard. My gosh, dude. We're loaded. We're loaded. That's all there is to it. Look at this guy's stats we drafted. Look at those stats. He's got Speedster as well, dude. Come on now. These are insane. I just... And so I switched to my custom playbook. I switched to Baltimore's defense. If, I mean, if we don't do something, there's something going on here. This this team is too good to not do something. At least put up numbers. You know what I'm saying? If we go 5-11 and 11 again, I, I don't know. Definitely not the playbook because we're 3-4. and four, So I actually did make one more change to the offensive playbook. I feel like Carolina's playbook is maybe a good fit for us. You know, considering Tua can run a little bit. We do got a running back now. We got some deep threat receivers. Just some nice receivers in general. I feel like their playbook is, is a decent one for us, especially because they have a lot of shotgun formations. So we are going to be rolling with their playbook. Um, two is, you know, his contract's up, so we have that. See, I told you guys, Devontae's contract's up. Probably going to have to let him go. What's Cap looking like? Oh, man. We're in year four. I'm probably going to try to make this a six-year deal just to lock two down the re remainder. Gosh, dang. What'll he do? 189 mil, dude. Ah. Okay, we're going to have to increase that. Kyle Vinoy is an X-Factor, but he is 32. So again, I don't think we want to stick on to somebody who's not going to be there long term. So we're going to have to let go of him. I mean, there's just no room for Noah right now. I like him, but we're set at corner. Raquan Davis, again, dude, I like him, but we just don't have room. We're so stacked defensively right now, there's not enough room for all these monsters. Because they want paid a little bit, you know? They want a little bit of that fat back up in here. Austin Jackson, definitely got to bring him back. He's a nice old lineman. Mm, Josh Rosen somehow ended up back here, okay. Um, so yeah, we're, we're likely just bring back, uh, Jackson, and we're gonna also bring back Tua. That's, that's gonna be it. Okay, no playoffs, of course. Uh, you know what? All I can say is we're not 5-11. and 11. We're not 5-11. and 11. Yeah, I think the Panthers playbook's the way to go, so we're definitely, this is what our schemes are looking like, just in case you guys want to see real quick. So, I'm going Carolina, their multiple zone run. I'm going 3-4 under with Baltimore's playbook as well. I just don't know what's going on. I don't know why we're not doing anything. Look, I mean, it's not like our overalls are garbage. Let's check out the stats for the year. I, we almost won the division, though. Which is crazy. Okay, dude. Well, defense is there now. What the hell? What in the hell is going on here? So first year we go, what, 25-5 and five with Tua? Since then it's just fallen off the damn rails? Like that makes sense much. No, it don't. 
Okay. Running back. My God, how many times are we going to run the ball? I guess a lot, but I, I, I don't mind what a running back did. Nearly a 1,000 yards, and I think he's the closest to it that we've had in the backfield yet. Gosh, George Pickens, such a monster. 82, 1107? 75, 801. Williams. Yeah, it's time to let Parker go. Look at that. He didn't even have a touchdown. Blocking. O-line's not bad, dude. I don't know what the hell's going on with our offense. We're just not passing for some reason. 136 by Greenlaw, 97 by Vinoy. Ooh, Stern's up there. Sacks, we get 10 by... Ooh, 10 by the Rook. Okay, defense is looking nasty. 9 by Jalen, 7 by Christian. <sighs> defense is looking nasty. 3 picks by Yair, 2 by Greenlaw, 2 by Vinoy. Couple of 1 bombs, a lot of 1 bombs. <sighs> Dude, ain't looking bad. We need Tua to play better, though. Not in the conversation. Why is Trubisky always in the damn MVP conversation? Really? He's on the Saints now? I don't believe you. Alright, that's going to wrap it up for this one, dude. We're already in year four. Nothing. Hey, nothing. Ah, Okay. Let's get the freaking free agency. Man, in any other freaking franchise, I'd be all over some of these guys. But they're, they're a bit old. They're a bit old. It's tough. I don't think we're going to bring anybody back, dude. I just, I don't know. They're a bit old. The players that are younger, we don't need. Uh, it's tough. I mean, I'd love to go after some of these guys. I really would. Like Fletcher, that'd be nasty. But, I mean, do we want him for a year? I guess we'll just save money this year. Let's not sign anybody. All right, so I did end up going right in. This guy looked really good. He had a 7.5 combine. Didn't end up being the best, but I, I think it's not bad that we got this guy. Because remember, we didn't sign Godchicks to a huge contract. So I think we only signed him to a two-year deal. So that should be coming up pretty soon. So if it does, this guy's definitely can bounce in and play. At the moment, we're not. I don't know if we're looking for starters to say much. We're really looking for them to upgrade, but I, at the moment, I'm trying to get guys that can replace, you know, guys we're definitely going to lose coming up. So that's why I'm going a little bit O-line heavy, because I don't know how long our O-line is going to stay together. Want a little defense here. Again, I don't think we got any immediate starters, but I think we do have starters in the future within a year or two that will definitely be starters. At least I know Gilchrist for sure. We'll probably be playing DT if God Chicks goes. All right, in damn year five, nothing's happened for us, all right? You know, our best record's been 8-8. Eight and eight. It's been rough, but we got two resigned. Got some stuff done. Um, definitely starting to lose players, so we got to take that into account. I like what Meadows did last year, though. He's still going to be my back. I mean, we got receivers, though. We got 290 overall receivers to go with Tua. We got Seth Williams playing the slot now. He's not a bad slot guy. Now that Devontae's gone, he's going to take over. And he's got nasty catching traffic still. I think his contract's up this year, so it could be a contract year for him. Um, O-line's still upgrading. It really is. It's got about all 80 guys on there. I don't know why we're not good, you know? Ended up getting an X-Factor with freaking Greenlaw. I think that's Zone Hawk, right? Yeah. Already have shut down with Yair. Pretty much the same team defensively. Except we did uh, let go of one of our linebackers, I believe. So yeah, Greenlaw's going to take that over a little bit. For middle linebacker, safeties are still real good. Like how Stearns is upgrading. Man, I, I just feel like we need our defense alone should be number one in the league. I don't know if that's just me or what, but dude, I feel like we got like a squad brewing. Like we got players everywhere. Oh gosh, dang, this is where it's gonna get hairy. What? Dude, that's our that's our roster. That's that's not a couple players. That's our damn roster. Yeah, that's tough. We're definitely bringing back Jalen. He's too big of a monster to let go of. Byron, he's got Superstar. I really would like to bring him back for at least a year or two. 
Caden Stearns, yes. I think we're going to have to let Wilkins go. I think we are. At this point, I think it's time. Same with Brita. I seen both our tackles were going up, so we definitely got to bring them back. Gonna have to let go of Xavier. But definitely getting both these tackles re signed. See, again, God checks is up. That way, that's why we had to get a little D line help. Now, Seth doesn't want much money. If he has a breakout year, I'm down to bring him back. Okay, those are probably gonna be the only players for now we bring back. Tough period for resigning, so tough damn period. My god, dude, we're five years in. We get worse? We got worse. We got mother. Are you kidding? We didn't get worse. Dude, this is insane. I, you can't do rebuilds anymore, I don't think. Like, what? what is this? How, how are we not in the playoffs, dude? How? I'd love to know. What went wrong? Because, I mean, our defense is out of this damn world. Oh, my God. And we have the Jets at 11-5. and five. Okay. Okay. What the hell is going on with our pass yards? No playbook I can get above. Hmm. <sighs> See, what do I do with that there? We get 3,600 yards, but it's an incredible TD to INT ratio. 31 to 5? But we just can't get yards. See, I don't know what to do about this. I don't know what to do. Wow. And we just can't run the ball. Oh, man. All right. I mean, about 82, 906 for Pickens. Preston has a nice year. Seth did too. I'd like to bring back Seth. Blocking. Alright, I resigned these tackles to allow double digit sacks. No big deal. 109 by Baker. Man, I feel like we're getting worse. That's It's weird. Like, we'll have one breakout year and then the next year we're just garbage again. Yikes, dude. I don't know what to do about this. It's just like, it, it, we're really relying on the sim here, honestly. Like, we're relying on the damn sim. Alright, we're gonna go after a couple players here, so I, I don't know. Maybe it's just the running back overall. Maybe that's why we're not getting yards. So I'm gonna attempt to go after a running back. 90 overall running back. He's a pretty decent one. He's got some nice speed. Breakaway speed. You know, he's, he's got change of direction. Really can do everything. He can truck. Yeah. Really should be a nice overall running back. And I'm also going to go after tackle, I guess. Maybe that's what we need. Um, he's not going to stay at tackle, though, because I still do like a tackle duo. He would actually bounce into guard, because if you look at his stats, he has incredible run block. So he would definitely bounce into a guard spot for us. So yeah, for sure, would bounce there. And hopefully, I don't know, that could maybe help us out? I, I, I'm hoping... I don't know how we're getting worse, dude, but it's it's, it's happening. Oh, God dang it, dude. And to be fair, we got some nasty players to start this off. So you guys see, we lost Wilkins and we lost Godjix. So now we went after Shag Wiggins, and these guys are going to be immediate starters. We get some, we get some gems. So uh, this guy ends up being hidden development. Nice power move. I mean, I th maybe we just need to get bigger up front defensively. So, I mean, we got some biggies up there now. We got some playmakers. So, we got Shaq there. Ended up getting another linebacker. Probably will go along with Jerome. He's a very fast linebacker with that 90 speed. To do it all linebacker. So, nice to get him on the team. Then we went after another DT. This guy's probably going to take the spot of Wilkins' spot. Not anything that jumps off the screen yet, but it, he's got the, he's got the uh, skill set. His strength is there. His block shed's there. So when that is that like that, we can just go straight up into like power or finesse move for him. And he should be a great run stopper to start. That's it. I mean, that's all we get that's going to start here. I just, I, I mean, heading into year six, we need some things to go our way. All right, man, year six is upon us. Um, is it time? Is it time for the simulation to finally recognize our team? You know, nobody, actually, we didn't upgrade yet. Let's go ahead and auto upgrade everybody. Uh, everybody always asks why I don't. 
upgrade my players. First of all, it would take about two hours. Second of all, I like to auto-upgrade because it makes it random. I don't want to just be able to go, oh, you got receiver, physical, 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 physical. You know, I kind of like to make it so the CPU takes control over that. Um, But yeah, anyway, taking a look at the roster, my god. We got Pickens up to a 98 overall. His ratings are incredible. Short route running is tough as shit, though. Why is that not going up? Hey, that's one of the only problems of going into auto-upgrade. I feel like that needs to address itself. Hey, he's got decent abilities, though, to be honest. Alright, so... Yeah, team's pretty much the same. We did pick up White. That's going to be the only difference offensively. For running back, 2 is up to a 90 overall, man. He needs to play better, though. He really does. I know he had a nice TD to INT ratio last year, but he's got to get yards. He has to. The accuracies are there. Everything is there for him. He's protected. He's got to get. He's got to get the yards. Defensively, um, we got some monsters taking over. I'm. I'm a bit worried though. Defensively, how we're gonna get hit hard by the loss of Wilkins and Godchicks, but I guess we'll see. Still do have Jalen. though is a monster. Green also got that X factor. Linebacking core in general isn't bad. I still do like Barkley here as a pass rusher. To be honest, I still love our DB core. We still got Marcus, still got Stearns. Corners are going to hold their own for quite a while longer. That team is there, man. It's just, it is. It is. It's just, it's there. I, I feel like the Sim just has to recognize. Like, we're, like, we have team players up in here. We have good players. Why are we going six and damn ten? Oh my god, dude. It just keeps on getting worse for resignings. Are you insane? This this guy... This guy wants 117 mil over 5. Um... Okay. Okay. Um, that's... That's wild, considering you have 70 short route running. Rah! Come on! That's quarterback money, dude! That's insane. Wow, this is where it gets dirty, isn't it? Actually, not the worst resigning period, to be honest. Probably don't need to resign any of these corners. I do want this center back. Marcus would be tough to let go of. That's going to be a lot of cap, though. If we bring back this trio with uh, Pickens, Williams, and Miller, we're going to be in a tough spot money-wise. But I don't really think we can afford to lose these players at this point. We're in year six. To be fair, Marcus is going to start regressing quite bad. He's 28. He only has star development. As tough as it is, I think we're going to have to move on from him. Because look, that's a 10 mil cap hit. I just don't see him holding on to that overall. At 28, he's going to hit the regression block real bad. Yeah. I don't think we're going to bring him back. So I think we're going to go after Miller and we're going to go after Pickens. That's going to leave us with a, a bit of a hole at safety, but it, see if we can take care of it. All right, not much new. You know what it is. Your six, no playoffs, six and ten. Definitely stuck in the same simulation thing. It's just, it's just what it is. So we're going to go ahead and change schemes, I suppose, you know. I guess. Holy shit, dude. This is so irritating. So we go 6 and 10, 5 and 11, or 8 and 8. Hmm. Don't know how this is still not fixed yet. It's definitely a glitch. There's no way we go 6 and 10. Uh, there's just no way. Decent upgrades. Got some decent upgrades on the defense, I'll take. Now, what about stat wise? Let's see here. How'd we go? Man, division's not good either. We should be winning this shit. Our offense isn't there. Come on, D team. Why? How is Tua getting worse, dude? He goes a year better and then a year worse. Come on. A thousand yards, finally. Seth Williams doesn't do bad. Pickens is up there. See, we got a trio of receivers. We just do. O-line, I feel like they are performing a bit worse than we're used to. 
125 here by Baker. 102 by Jones. Sacks, Heather. Sacks is going down. Production's going down for sure. For sure. Not many picks either. See, what the hell do I do with that? Last two years, defense had been on the up. Then we just fall apart. Okay, I guess we're rebuilding again. Yeah, I didn't make much. Well, it didn't make any signings in free agency. Just didn't have the money. So I mean, you know, maybe we need more playmakers on defense. Maybe we need more. So I went after a pass rusher who ended up being wildly good. You know, he's a bit demoralized having to come to Miami. I would be too. I would be too after the seven years we've had. You know, I'd, I'd be a bit demoralized about being drafted as well. But I'm hoping you might be part of that fixture. I went after quarterback. I'm not planning on starting this guy. But if it comes to like year nine and two is still playing like trash, we're going to we're gonna have to make the switch. I, it's not something I want to do, but I don't know. I don't know. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, Madden's draft classes aren't the best at all. So we get two players out of that. Uh, maybe we just need more freaking pass rush. More? I right, you're seven. I mean, we're getting better on offense. There's no doubt about it. We're literally getting better. I mean, the numbers show. Overall-wise, we're better. I uh, don't know what's happening, but, you know, I really don't. I guess we can just hope it's our year. Defensively, I did make a couple changes, so we are going to have Jalen actually rushing as a DT now. We're going to have Barkley and Terry rushing outside. So we got monsters coming in. Then we have freaking uh, Wiggins playing along with Jalen. So there's going to be no pass rush excuses. Linebackers are going to be there. We know they're going to be insanely good. Um, safeties, we did lose Marcus, but I'm hoping Wilkins can fill in a little bit for him. Besides that, we're basically the same on defense. We do have a, a, a rookie slot corner playing because uh, Xavier Howard. But still. Still got Byron. Still got Yair. Uh, just, uh, it, team's starting to go down in terms of overall. Cap's starting to get a lot tighter. So it's getting tough. So I'm, I'm really hoping this roster is going to do. I mean... We'll see, though. I guess we'll see. Oh, my God, dude. The resignings keep on getting worse. What is this? Oh, my God. We, I at least want to try to keep this for three more years. Of course, it needs improvement. Yeah, here. Don't make it easy on me. Oh, we're losing some of these people. There's no doubt about it. Oh, we don't need Meadows. I'd like to bring back Pat. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. There's so many players. Can we get this guy on a three? Oh, my. Pat, and yeah, just ask for the house. You've done nothing for me. Ask for the house, though. Jerome, man, we might actually have to let... Actually, you know what? He's... Not asking for much at all. Of course, Jerome. Oh, Jesus. All right. I don't know what we're doing here. Dude, we're going to have no money. Can we even get Gasecki, please? We can. All right. I, th I think we're going to be able to bring back the guys we want, but we're going to have to... Literally have no money. Oh my god. No pl We're 7 and 9, dude. We can't get past 8 and... Oh. My. Gosh. That is... What? I, what is that? What is that? What is it? It's glitched. It's broken. That's what it is. It's, it's fucking broke. My well, two didn't play bad. Twenty six to six. What the hell happened? How do we end up seven and nine? Oh yeah, eleven hundred yards, sixteen touchdowns. How did we end up a? How? How again was that? I'd like to know how we ended up. Uh, yeah. Nothing here showing me how we're seven and nine.
Mm, offensive line played good. 13. All right. What the hell happened here? Oh, we oh we got no pressure. Yeah, we got nothing. We got tackles for loss, though. Look at that. No picks, either. 17th in offensive yards. At least we're getting better. 18th in defensive. Yo, my, hey, we're, we're, we're moving. We're, we're actually getting better. We're seven years in, and we've, we got better, guys. Guys, we got better. All right, so I'm going to attempt to make a trade. We ended up losing Byron, I'm pretty sure, just a retirement, so that's a bit tough. So I'm going to look to go after a cornerback because we really need one. We ended up getting a couple X-Factors last season and another superstar on offense. So I feel like it's there. But we can't not have a cornerback to go along with Yair. So we'll see what... They don't have Russell anymore. So I guess he retired. So we'll see what this would do. Not close. All right. Giving you a franchise quarterback with superstar development. But uh, don't take him. Let me try to add in a pick. Okay, but we have to give up a second, really? You're getting a franchise quarterback. Guys, you're getting a franchise quarterback? I'm going to need you to accept. I'm going to need you to accept. We're going to have to give up a first round pick. Are you in... I, I, I'm just doing this literally because we're probably not going to find anybody in the draft. Oh my god, dude. Right now, I, I'm about uh, 8 rage level in Madden. Maybe 9. It's climbing. It's it's climbing. It's climbing. Okay, we get it done. We'll get it done. I, it's not pretty. We get it done. Don't know if we'll show the draft. Don't have any money for free agency. Had to give up some picks. Probably won't get anybody decent in the draft. If not, let's get into year 8, dude. This is getting rough life. Right, well, the way we played last year actually got somebody a superstar on offense, our running back, which is really good. And he has a freaking ability I've never seen on a running back. He has um short out elite, which is insanity. I feel like for a running back, because if you just have him on flat routes, would that not be insanely tough to stop? Because even if you have a man coverage on him, if he consistently catches it, I feel like he'd get that animation. And then he has balance beam, which is nice. <sighs> okay, we're in year eight. We're hey, we're in year freaking eight. It is time. It is time. All right, we've suffered enough. We've just we've had no winning seasons. We none. Defense is looking juicy to me. We ended up getting fear monger from Terry here. Go ahead and take a look at his damn stats. Go ahead and take a look at his damn stats. He'll get after you with Fearmonger as well. And he has unfakeable adrenaline rush, alright? We got some nasty linebackers. Um, Barkley's up to superstar now, so he's got abilities coming off the edge. Extra credit in Bogo? Dude. That's like... Oh my god, how are we not roasting faces off here? Like, honestly. The cornerback we traded for is going to start alongside Yair. I don't know. Like, th I, this is a really good roster I feel we have. Really good. I don't know. what. Well, mm, it's just looking nice to me. I think we're going to make the playoffs this year. I'm going to go out on a limb. We're in year eight. It's about time. It's about damn time. Please. Please. Oh my! Got some players up here. All right, so the guys will bring back for sure. I don't even think this guy's a starting guard, to be honest. I think these were some of the backup O linemen we signed. Oh yeah, a lot of these guys aren't starters at the moment. So I'd like to bring back Dylan, probably for the rest of the rebuild. I mean, he's already been here. We don't want to lose these guys. We've been trying to upgrade. So for right now, I'm likely just going to bring back Dre, Austin, and Dylan. I know we have a younger right tackle here, but he does not have good pass block. That's what we need from a tackle at the moment. So yeah, I'll just bring back those trio. Yeah! 
Yes! Yes! Are you kidding me? Oh, look at that last game. We just beat Jacksonville as well. Okay. I did not think I'd be that happy to make the playoffs, dude. But it took eight years, guys. All right, sink that in. This shit took eight years. Oh, my God. I did not think it'd be that tough. That was out of hand. All right. That was out of damn hand. Looks like we're there, though. I thought this defense could get it done. What a damn draw. Yeah, and I keep on getting things on these rebuilds. People are saying, oh, you're freaking forcing wins or losses. How do you force a draw, bros? Come on. Yeah, I'd, I'd really be forcing wins and losses after eight years. I think I'd have done that in year two. Seventh in defensive yards. All right. Yes, Tua. Where the hell has that been? Let's get that going. And there's the attempts. What the hell? The attempts are up. I didn't change the playbook. Yes. 1,200 yards, 8 touchdowns. 13 by the backup. Seth. 93, 1,207. Again, where has this been? 81, 905. 97, 906. Gasecki. 67, 710. Not a little more sacks than normal, if we're being honest. Green oh, Greenlaw turned down the contract. So that bastard's going to get franchise tagged every year. You turn down my contract, you ain't getting a long-term extension, and you're getting franchised. So how do you like them apples? How do you like them apples? Whoo! That's what I need from Jalen in the plain DT. 16 and a half sack a year. Six and a half by Jeremy. Six by Durrell. Oh my. Dre had five picks. Three by Alexander. Couple of one bombs. Bro, we're in year eight. I think we'll just sim. To be honest. Because I don't think... I think hopping in actually affects us in a bad way. If we don't play the game. And since we're not in year ten where we can play. I think we're just going to simulate. Watch us get knocked out in the first game. Please. Please. Of course, you bastards. You bastard game. We get knocked out in the first playoff game, 34-20. to 20. It's a little weird considering we beat them in the last game of the year, but you know how it is? Okay. So playoff does not go far. We get knocked out round one. Okay. That feels good. Eight years in the making right there. Eight years in the damn making. Alright, didn't have any money for free agency, and to be honest, I don't think we're going to draft somebody that's going to start within the next two years. I think we're set offensively and defensively. I think what we're relying on is upgrades, and we're relying on Matt. And so, you know, it's iffy. It's iffy. But that's what's that's what's the deal. Um, Yeah, because, I mean, I don't. we're not going to draft anybody better than we already have within two years. I mean, we're set at the moment. Just, is it, is it going to work out? We don't know yet. I feel like our defense is freaking there. Offense is the same, though. Like, nothing's changed offensively. Same exact offense. I'm I'm fan of it. Defense, I mean, we just got playmakers left and right, to be honest. We got two nasty outside linebackers. We've got nasty middle linebackers. Nasty D linemen. Nearly a 99 overall guy. I mean, he's upgrading still. Um, yeah, that's that's what we're dealing with. That's what we're dealing with with nothing. You know, I mean, that's what we have at the moment, and we're just not winning. So, got yeah, you're at that 99 overall. I mean, we're loaded everywhere. So we're in year nine, man. Year nine, we got. This year and one more year remaining. Alright, you know, just a little sneak peek. Alright, just a little sneak peek. Let's, let's go. 7 and 0 life up in here. Feels good. Greenlaw, you're getting franchised. I don't even care. I'm franchising that guy every year. It really hurt me last year that he didn't uh, 
sign that. We couldn't make any free agent signings. My God. We needed to do something about this. This is a bit outrageous. So Jackson, yes. Dre, yes. Shaq, yes. Tyreek, yes. Randy, yes. That's probably it for the moment. Not as big of signings as I thought when we started it here, but yeah. Yes! We get a buy. Let's go. That is everything. We're moving on, dude. Unfortunately, we can't play offense. I want to see if our team can get it done. 13 and 3. Who? First of all, let's auto upgrade the players because we don't want to. We want to have our players fully upgraded. So let's hit those. All right. Let's check out the stat line. 13 and 3 here. Not bad. Not bad. All right, finally where I feel like we should be first in offensive yards. Two of them may have won MVP. Defensive yards second. Did it really need to take me nine years? Yes. This is the year. This is the year. Two of one's MVP. It's the damn year, guys. Come on. We need this. Oh, 4,300 yards, 43 touchdowns to 14 INTs, 65% completion rate. Monster year from Tua, dude. Ooh, not many rushing touchdowns, but he got it done. 1350, 4.9 average. Ooh, Pickens, 85, 1111. PJ, I mean, Preston doing the things. Seth, ooh, okay, we got it done, dude. Still tackles. You gotta play better than that. They're nearly allowing double digit sacks every year. Under 11 tackles by Greenlaw, 90 by Stevenson. Nine sacks by Jalen, eight and a half by Jeremy, seven and a half by Wiggins, six and a half by Terry. Oh, wow! Seven picks by Yair? Wow. Two by Randy, two by Dre, couple of one bombs. Okay, okay. I think we'll hop in. I'm not going to play the moments, but I guess maybe we'll hop in and just watch what happens. I guess because I, I, I want to see this. We got Tua going up against Herbert. Who the hell is going to come out on top here? Come on. Don't let me down, please. Please, Tua. We're the number one offense in the league. We need, we need points. I don't need field goals. Oh, my God. I don't. I need points. Come on. Yes. Oh, it's getting hairy. I hate playing the Chargers. Please. Yes. We get a win with Miami. This is going to be incredibly tough. I believe not playing and trying to get dubs here. But we get it done. Tua goes off. 315. Out duels Herbert. Definitely does. I like how many times we're passing it. That's for sure. Woo. 110 rushing. This bro's a monster. All right, let's go, dude. We moving on. Two more games and we Super Bowl champs. Ah, taking on the Texans. This is a way tougher damn matchup. Got to try to out-duel to Sean. Oh, my God. And they have Kamara? Oh, holy shit. That's going to be incredible to, if we get this. Please. Please. Tua, you got to come through for me. You're the MVP. You're the MV freaking P. Yes. No. No. Please. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let's go. It's our year. It is our year. Come on. Tua's on fire. Oh, my God, dude. He out Deshaun easily. He's on fire. He's on fire. It's time. The Super Bowl is here. We've gotten this far. Please, game. Please. Just please. Just freaking please. We have such a good team. I need this one. <sighs> Interception. Oh, my God. I'm so scared, though, of Arizona. I'm so scared of Arizona. Please, 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 please. Oh my god. <gasps> oh 
my god, dude. I thought we lost that game. Adam Gase, Adam Gase is the head coach of the Cardinals now. I thought we lost that game. They had the ball with a minute 50, dude. That's the toughest reboot I've ever done. It took nine years to get a playoff win. Dude, let that sink in. It took nine years. Bruh. We got one more to go, though. We got one more to go, though. We're going for that back-to-back. -back. Don't forget, I forgot about that 10th year. Tua, oh my god, what a year for Tua. Gets MVP, then wins Super Bowl MVP. What a damn year. Our roster was wild, though, wasn't it? It was a 13-3 and roster, dude. It was freaking wild. We had playmakers left and right and just everywhere. I don't know if we're going to have any money for free agency. And we're probably not going to... I don't even know if we'll show the draft, to be honest. Because there's not going to be anybody that's going to start over the players we already have. So we're likely heading into the next year with the same squad. See if we can go for those back-to-back, -back, though. See if we can go for those back-to-back. -back. All right, guys, we're here in year 10. Got the Super Bowl win out of the way. Feeling pretty good about it. Same roster. Didn't uh, get anybody in the draft or didn't have any money for a free agency. So we're dealing with the same roster pretty much. Just a little bit downgraded. Except two has got Superstar now, which is nice. But my God, dude, our defense is just monstrous. It's just what it is. We could very likely go back to back if we make the playoffs. Could happen. Well, I just want to see what two his abilities are. So yeah, we're dealing with the same team. We've got quick draw closer. Okay, closer is not great. I'll take quick draw with him though. I'm not gonna show mid season. We don't need to resign anybody since we are in the tenth and final year. So we're literally just gonna sim to the playoffs. See what happens. Ooh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Week 17, we make the playoffs. Nice. Okay. That's good. Won the division again. Super wicked. Hey, we're the reigning champs. We got to do what we got to do. Ooh, Tua's going off. 37 to 10. Now he's, he's in a groove. 1,100. Seven touchdowns for the RB. Pickens is getting 1,000 yards easily. 10 touchdowns. Seth is up there. So is Preston. Blocking, how do we hold up? Man, still, double-digit sacks. Our center allowed nine. 103 tackles by Greenlaw, 95 by Lewis. Get 10 and a half sacks by Terry. Damn, we got after the quarterback, that's for sure. Two not many picks, if we're being honest here. Where's Tua finishing the MVP race? Justin Fields is on the damn Rams? Uh, we come in at number 10. All right. A little disrespect. See how it is. So we'll auto upgrade the players again. We'll probably not hop in here. We'll just simulate forward since we already got a Super Bowl win. See what the sim wants to do for us. 10 and 6. Take it on the Jets. Ooh, we get a win. 27 16. All right. Now we're taking on Cleveland. I, I don't know about this one. Ah, damn. Cleveland knocked us out 29-27. <sighs> okay. Well, I wanted to try to go back-to-back -back there, but hey, we won a Super Bowl with Miami within 10 years. Let me know what you guys think about that series. I definitely do want to do these more often. 10-year rebuilds. Let me know if you guys did enjoy this and you want to see more of them. We ended up getting the dub, though, in year 9. That was a tough-ass rebuild. Miami's way tougher than I thought they were. It definitely was a long-term rebuild. We had to get done with them. But if you guys did enjoy, let me know down below in the comments. And if you guys are new here, please make sure you hit that sub button. If you guys did enjoy, that really would be appreciated. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.